Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection, Kirby's Dream Land 3, whatever episode this is. You know the drill. We're here at level 2 with Ripple Field. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he'll love Triangle and Kirby. Oh no! And someone ends up getting swallowed. No! I thought that was Kirby's job to do that to others. Usually that's how it starts. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, we gotta help something called Kamuri Banas at the start of level 2 here, and to start we gotta get a broom. Well, technically it's a clean ability, but it's a fucking broom. The clean ability? Yeah. Isn't that just, like, a natural part of life? Well, using things and tools to clean with. Ah, like, okay. Like a broom, or a washcloth, or uh, 409, or bleach, or... Uh, whatever we used to cover yes. up the murder last week. <laughs> yes, I don't the, know. the bleach ability. So, uh, Nago or Pitch? The correct answer is Pitch. <laughs> I just want to think, is like, as soon as they run out of Kirby abilities, they're going to be like, okay, we got the wash ability. Kirby turns into a washing machine. Uh. I remember if that happened. I think it did. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Is that one of the thousands no, of combinations no. in Kirby 64? Oh wait, I was thinking of Banjo Kazooie where you turn into a washing machine, so that's not where it happens. <laughs> it's a freezer! Oh. Okay. So we got uh, these little uh, roots up here, and we just gotta carefully use pitch just once to use the clean ability to restore them. Because once they turn to flowers, they can be trampled on. What? Yeah. Oh. If I. If I hit him with the clean ability again, they will they will crumple, and we will not get the true ending. Oh no! Don't do that to the, the flowers. They seem so happy. It's like like we're getting true ending here, which means that we got to make sure that nobody is sad. If someone's sad, huh. we don't get the true ending. So there's one over go. there and one over here. Got it. Yay! There's one more room. See, what's cool is that they give you the two broom hatters to give you a hint that the broom ability is what you need, and they give you one of two friends at the beginning to let you know that one of them works, so you should be able to figure it out by then. Oh my gosh, B-Team, you're doing great! This is like, like, B and A. Like, the direct- they got the director from the first game, but probably some people helping on it too, you know? So the Ba team. Or the <laughs> Ab team. I mean- <laughs> One thing I love about this game is the sound track. Love this uh, atmospheric, you know, feel-good kind of chill, mellow music. It's great. Wow, that is nice. Nice beach music. Juni Shikawa at his best. Love the guy's work. Does the best Kirby tunes. Wish he'd come back and make more someday. Did he retire or something, or is he just? I don't know if he. I don't know if he retired or is doing something else or whatever, but. When, uh, most of the time when they uh, um, give him credits in in uh, Kirby, no, when they give him the composer credits in Kirby, it's for tracks they already used. Oh, well, at least he's getting credit. Yeah, I mean, most of Robobot is just remixes of older Kirby themes. So, the Kamari Bottoms give us a heart star, we can move on. Okay. Damn it. That's not what I wanted. What at the bottle? <laughs> Use the alcoholic power. It's called the pep drink. So maybe it's a Dr. Pepper. Mm. So, we got, got to get rid of, uh, of oh. uh, clean and in favor for umbrella this time around. The thing is, I hate using Pitch because most of his abilities have to do with making him go away from me so I'm unprotected from any <laughs> oncoming enemies. And uh, when I want to fucking move and uh, do this quickly, I can't have him doing this kind of shit. <laughs> Pitch, come on! Earn your money! <laughs> okay, so that, there, that is kind of cool that he still counts as a projectile. There you go, Kirby uh, can make a bird. He's faster than a bird. So, we're going to be going with Kine this time around. We're going to want to go with him anyway, because it's, <laughs> well, we're about to go into some water. <laughs> That's funny. Now, we got to keep the Umbrella ability. Holy shit, you were going fast. Ah! Because we 
got Currents, and we got Kine here who can swim again. Goddamn. All right, fine. I won't use the goddamn umbrella. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, dude, stop! Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, all right, all right. There we go. There we lucky! That's <laughs> so fucking lucky. See, that's, that's good game design for at the nick of time. Because I had kind, I could get it. If I didn't, I'd have to make do with the fucking pep drink, where I already would have already died once or twice. Ah. Oof. We head into this center door here. This guy's a fucking loser. This is Baku uh, Bakasa. We want to show him that he's not like that. There's someone else like him in the world. He's not <laughs> so totally alone. I mean, uh, we got the umbrella part down, but the whole uh, egg thing. I, I, I don't know, man. You should go find your parents. That was adorable. Kirby is the nicest game in the universe. I'm trying to do this right, see if I can jump off and maybe do a bit of a glide thing, but I keep bonking my head up there. Nah. One more time. Eh, yeah, fuck it. You know, something I just realized? I'm so glad that these Kirby games didn't, like, Americanize these animal friend names, because otherwise this would be, like, fish dicks or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading you their actual names. I don't think anything was localized. Awesome. It's that's, I think most of them is, I think that's really how their names are. Oh, damn like, maybe, like, maybe one or two changes here and there. If you want to throw them out in the comments, that'd be great. Maybe I'll show them off next week or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's the third stage. You know what that means. Shitty minigame. Oh, boy. So we'll just make our way through here, try not to die. We don't need to have any special abilities for these levels, but we just gotta do the fucking shitty minigame. Uh, uh, yeah. Nice. Oh. That guy's an asshole. Sometimes, in, la in later levels, he'll hide. <laughs> nice. So, Alright, we'll take Rick. The game wants us to get Rick, so we'll go ahead and take Rick. What was the point of the ice blocks? I don't know. Okay, that's funny. Oh, this is fun. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the impenetrable force of Rick and Kirby. Th that's fun, but not very practical. We'll use the beam here instead. Ugh. Aha! Oh, is that the only way to get in there? Well, no, you can just suck them in, but... Oh, crap! Kirby has to deal with sharks?! Well, yeah. Those aren't like cartoony sharks, those are like real fucking sharks. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, it's like everything else is like cartoony and silly, but that was an actual shark. I get that one up. I get that one up. Alright. There we go. Kirby, we need a bigger boat. Or a bigger Rick. So now it's minigame time. This is Ailil. Say hello, Ailil. She's gonna pop up all these pots, and Gordo's are gonna. Well, I bet you can figure this out, can't you? Oh, so it's a speed game. It's one of those, uh, hey, f uh, find the queen, where's the queen? Except it's really easy. Well, I guess this is okay. I still gotta have, like, laser focus on the screen just to make sure that I know where she pops up. Fuck out of here now, sheesh. What, you didn't want to play my game? Well then why'd you come here then? Because I gotta make you happy. Apparently me winning makes you happy. I would have figured that, you know, <laughs> me losing and you taking my money would make you happy, but nope. <laughs> I gotta make sure it's well balanced for the board game company. <laughs> now we've uh, wandered oh. into auto-scrolling territory. Yeah, we have, out of uh, seemingly nowhere. Uh-oh. Uh, uh oh picking up. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Just imagine right, if so. it sped up here. It's like, ah, surprise, sucker, you need kind. <laughs> that uh, Rick was just a ruse. Go oh, no for it, dumb player. Oh, my God, more sharks. Another shark. 
Did I ever yeah, tell you? Would have been a lot faster with kind. Did I ever tell you that I had the biggest fascination with sharks when I was a kid? Well, I had one with chameleons, so I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like, oh, sharks are the coolest thing, but now I'm terrified of them. Thanks, Jaws. <laughs> yeah, I used to love chameleons. Now I'm fucking terrified of them. Thanks, Chameleon Twist 2. <laughs> oh, whatever. God, why did our childhood have to ruin everything? So, uh, this is a pretty, uh, unusual level. A little cryptic. A little convoluted. Might drive you insane. Maybe oh well. my god. Different layers? Well, uh, uh... Yeah, we're doing Super Nintendo. This is like the last Super Nintendo game, man. So much innovation. Well, not really, because there was another, uh, Kirby game for the Super Nintendo after this that we never got. It's just a shame, because it was fucking good! Give me my Mode 7. Looking at transparency layers here. I don't know, maybe there is a degree of Mode 7 going on here. It it looks like uncompressed AVI. <laughs> you want me to be honest? It looks kind of ick. <laughs> yeah, scan lines, you know. Ugh. Maybe that's maybe that's just a result of the emulation. I don't know. It, uh, that's really bad. I wonder how it actually looks on a Super Nintendo on a CRT. It's kind of weird how the friends work here. So, do you need a specific one for this level, or were you just showing them off? Yeah, just showing them off. Okay. I was, I'm gonna go with Nago just because, well, I like him. But you're drowning a cat! Stop drowning yeah. the cat! Also, you kind of needed to, uh bring Kine in here with the spark ability so that way you can light up some dark areas. So you're saying we kinda needed him? Uh, what a fishy- WHAT A FISHY PUNCHLINE! <laughs> uh, sorry, I was floundering there for a bit. Maybe we'll play Calamari Damachi after this! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm not even gonna compete with that, that was great! <laughs> I mean, look, he's even rolling Kirby like the prince does. <laughs> Why haven't we done one of those yet? I don't, I don't know, because I think they're a bit too crazy. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind some Katamari goodness. That sounds awesome! <laughs> so, now we're uh, locked into another oh, auto-scrolling section. Auto -scrolling. But, uh, see, when I say that you need Kine and Spark, you're not really, because it's just a light at the dark areas. But remember what I said, just because it's dark, doesn't mean the doors aren't there. Oh, I'm waiting for you to walk into the wall. So we make it all the way to the top here, and instead of going uh, right, we go to the left. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh! I thought the screen was gonna kill you. It was. Oh, she, <laughs> she got out of there like right at the last second. Yep, just to make you sweat. Well, I'm, I'm sweating over you losing a life in a Kirby game. Well, now it's time to sweat even more. Uh oh. Returning from Kirby's Dream Land 2, it's this fucker with the same fucking broken defense. Eh. Come on. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Alright, so what do you want to talk about instead? Uh, uh. Played Sonic Mania? That's awesome! It's great! Can't believe I'm saying the words "good Sonic game." Yeah, what year is it? <laughs> 2017. That's unprecedented. Hey, uh, have you beaten uh, Chemical Plant Zone yet? I'm uh, like on level six right now. All right, so you're a lot farther than I am. But uh, wasn't that a cool callback to Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? Did you get the three chain? Uh, I I think I did. I got the three chain. Oh, look at you. Yeah, look at me, Puyo Puyo uh, Journeyman. Yeah, that, uh, I should have thought about that before I made that, uh, connection. Anyway, that was Kogamugail. What? We're gonna, we're gonna bring Kogamugail back home to his mom, Gamugail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know you're making up fucking names I'm, now. I'm not! I'm not, man! <laughs> I got it straight from the wiki, which got it straight from the manga. <laughs> okay, you better start reading that manga yourself and translating it just so Gamugail 
Doesn't sound so forced. I don't know, it looks good because everyone who makes oh. an appearance in Garbage Jam Land 3 makes an appearance in the manga. And I do mean everyone! <laughs> so is this like a, a, a cross-product promotion? Or something like that? Maybe, uh... Well, maybe the manga was, because, you know, Nintendo makes a lot of manga stuff all the time. They do. They do. Because manga's kind of popular in Japan. Bet you didn't know! I just read the ones that come over from Japan here at my local bookstore. So that looks familiar. Pitch, right? Yeah. So we gotta go ahead and finish the level with Pitch, but uh, the thing is, this level is a pain and a half. It's w this is where the game cracks its knuckles and says, Alright, smart guy. Maybe uh, we should take off the gloves a little bit and uh, see if you can figure this shit out on your own. Already? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, already. Sharks. So, uh, Nago here is useless, uh, we'll probably, uh, abandon him somewhere on some forgotten corner, but he, he, he knows the way home, so don't worry about him. Uh, that sounds so cruel. It's like, Nago's so useless here. Well, it looks cruel, but somewhere. everything's fine in Kirby Land, so don't worry about them. It's like, you know, everybody that we eat and turn to stars, well, yeah, they turn to stars, but everything is stardust. So, uh, we got, we got Kine here, but we can just, uh, forget about him and move on. I'm just thinking, it's like you say everything's good in Kirby Land, so every pet friend that you abandon just finds a new home, a new happy life. So we have to take Kine. Oh. Yeah. Jeez! So, so we're gonna let Kine, uh, let uh, Nago drown is what we're gonna do, so, um... Oh no! Maybe, uh, uh... Oh no. Hmm. Oh well, he's fine. Anyway, uh, this is gonna be a bit of a test of my skills because... I have one just, hit. I have one hit left. If I have one, if, if I get hit, I gotta start the entire stage over again. Uh oh. Because that means I've lost Kine, I've lost, uh, you know, the abilities I need, and I, I need to keep Kine later on. I need to take Kine with me because Pitch is hidden behind a door behind currents in the next room. So I gotta make, I gotta make Kine get to the end of this room. Sounds simple enough, right? Oh, come on, use your bullet hell skills. You could do this. So we go over here. Oh my god. So we gotta get fire and stone. Why? So, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and leave Kine here for now. He'll still be there, don't worry. As long as I don't leave the room, he'll be fine. Or die. <laughs> I'm waiting and on it. The reason why I gotta go this way is because Kine can't fit through that little slot. And I gotta find a stone ability to come back here and break down this rock. Right? Yeah. So now I gotta very carefully make my way across. There is stone, alright. So, take that. And I'll, uh, hope that maybe there's some pep drink or something around here. Ooh. <laughs> Dancing yeah, with gotta, death. Gotta be careful. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And then. Not the uh, there we go. There we go. Oh. And then you of, die. We're not out of the woods yet, because we gotta get kind to the end. We gotta make sure we get pitch. And then we gotta get pitch to the end, so... Yeah. Game's cracking its knuckles, like I said. Or maybe you just suck. And blow. <laughs> so I'm thinking, alright, I don't need abilities, because huh? that's not gonna help me too much. Because... Uh, sucking and blowing gives me my my uh, ranged abilities, and uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I've been uh, I've been playing Kirby's Blowout Blast. I'm well I'm well trained. I'm well prepared. Let's do this. Uh, uh, I'm just wondering when it's gonna happen. Yes. Ah! Okay, good. Now we're good. Excellent work. Now we just gotta find that room. Found it. Oh well, pfft, that was easy. And Pitch is so happy to see us, he automatically starts yelling at us because we're not choosing him. But now we're choosing him, which uh, breaks Little Kine's heart. I didn't even realize they had different emotions. Oh yeah, I hate it when you go. <laughs> I wish I could be friends with all of you at the same time, but the game say no. Sayeth not. There we go. Now hopefully well, we can live long enough to get Pitch to the end to see his mom. Not his, not his girlfriend, as I first thought. This is literally Pitch Mama. Oh, okay. Is that what it says in the manga? Yes, it's what it says in the manga. 
<laughs> okay, good. I'm glad glad we have a, a source of information. Pitsy Mama! Pitsy Mama! Whoa! Whoa! Now, this is a callback to Kirby's Dream Land 2, but uh, for some reason, when you put like 15 trillion layers and add a whole bunch of color, it doesn't seem as monotonous anymore. This is nice. We're still not out of the woods yet. Oh my gosh, this level goes on forever. It does. Gotta make like, sure Pitch is at the end. But luckily we got a uh, oh Piper Candy over here, so... Uh, for some ridiculous imagery. Oh god. Ah, oh, I can't look at that. Oh, that's weird looking. Uh, there we go. Oh man, that's actually kind of messing with my eyes. It's a little goofy to see Pitch running that music. <laughs> <laughs> Those little bird legs. <laughs> so I'll uh, just uh, leave you here with your mom, and you can uh, catch up or whatever. Uh, yeah, you have fun. Hey, mom, can I go out and play with Kirby? No. <laughs> You're gonna go inside and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> mom, please stop. <laughs> Please stop adding to my addiction. I need an elf to add to my party. <laughs> and you can either be lawful neutral or true neutral. <laughs> Mom, please. Stop. You can borrow my gold, because I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> be sure to buy some roping bags. They're good for carrying extra items. And if you want, I can add an extra plus 1d2 on your on your rolls, just because you're my sweet little... Uh, let's, let's bring Pitch back. We could use him again. Help me defeat the Gorgon. Oh, you're gone. Hey, Kirby, you got to get me the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> God, I never realized how much of a nerd my mom is. God! I played Magic the Gathering, not fucking D&D, &D, Mom. How hard is it to understand? <laughs> One's an addiction, the other's the way of life. It's up to you to decide which is which. I don't know. I think they're both right if you look at both sides. Kind of like Dota and League of Legends. Oh, the... oh. Technically, t technically, they're both right, and yet they're both wrong. Oh, so very wrong. Major League Gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, what are we doing in this one? What's the what's the special task? There is a uh, hidden room here somewhere. Hmm. And, uh, when I tell you this character's name, I don't think you're gonna even believe me. Alright, well, you're 0 for 2 right now. It's funny well, that you should mention that, because guess what the character's name is? 0 for 2. <laughs> HB002. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> HB-002. Is, is it a... I mean, it's not a pun, or it's, it's just a robot serial code, right? No, uh, no. Well, uh, well, when you see him, you'll understand. Okay. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> they didn't get rid of the trial and error. Thanks for that, guys. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Oh, so good. <laughs> Now, let's so, see if I can remember if I'm too frustrated to remember where I was going. So, wait, can you not just, like, go... Oh, no, you can't. It takes you right back. You gotta, you gotta remember. Well, I was just thinking, you know, you go past the circle guys, and then I realized, no, they're far too big for that. Take it easy, calm down, relax, breathe, and now you've made your way through. Wow. These things don't look threatening in the slightest. I'll bet they're, like, electrified or something. Maybe, maybe, like, magnets, and they spark you and they hurt. Ow. Magnet shot. This is HB002! Oh. Probably a reference to Mario Picross. Okay. Yeah. So we look at this design here, we look at him, which is the shape of that design, and then in either of these two rooms here, we've got some star blocks. Oh. I actually, I actually really like this room. I love the parallax scrolling going on here. That it's is nice. nice. It's re really nice. I love the atmosphere and style that this game has. It's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Maybe oh, I thought you just screwed it up there. 
I did it! I bet if I screw it up, though, I'd pr probably fuck it up, but I think you can leave and come back, though. Oh, okay. I think part of the mystery is figuring out uh, what exactly you have to do. It's like, huh? What? The, I don't get it. With the star blocks and him. Do I gotta clear them all? No. Huh. Uh, assuming that all 10 year old kids who play this sound like that. <laughs> well, how many 10 year olds are playing it in this day and age? Uh, I was a 10 year old when I played it. And did you sound like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. know, I don't- I mean, that was like 15 years ago, man, I don't- Oh god, oh god, that was almost 20 years ago. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, there we go. Ah, oh, to approach 30. Thanks, I'll take your happiness because I'm gonna need it. And... <gasps> yeah! Star. Alright, so you know how that uh, bullshit about how dolphins are really fucking smart and all that shit? Mm-hmm. Well, they are. So, uh, oh. I, I need to prepare for what may be the toughest boss in the game. Well, maybe not, maybe not toughest as in strongest, toughest as in smartest. Oh. I, I'm pretty sure Acro is self-aware. Hmm. So, uh, I'm looking for Kine and I'm looking for a nice ability. I'm thinking maybe that one worked, work, but no. I remember, I have to keep Kine. We need Kine because the next fight is in two parts. And if you can guess from all the water around here, it's going to involve water. So if we had someone who does well in water, we'd do all right. So let's uh, let's go do that. What ability do you have to have, or does it matter? That yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, ha having kind is your biggest advantage. So we got kind. Let's see what we can do with this. Hey, Acro. This is Acro the whale. What the hell? First half of the fight takes place up here, which he uh, launches rocks and all that. Typical mini boss fashion. And then he. Here's the uh, second half. Uh, this is why we need Kine, because now he's gonna be throwing stuff at us, and uh, ordinarily we have to use Kirby's useless, useless bubble stream to shoot him back at him, but with Kine we can just suck him in and blow it right back at him. If he would stop throwing anchors, which I can't suck in! <laughs> and then. Oh! Okay, uh, I'm out of, I'm out of practice. I'm not, you know, he he got me whatever. So we'll go back in. We'll get kind. We got umbrella. Maybe that'll work better. So uh, set the stage. Try again. Sup, Acro? I'm here to kick your ass. Maybe I should uh, get a longer range ability next time. Y yeah, y you think? I feel like that would benefit me greatly <laughs> in the long run. Let me get you by hurting myself on you. Ow. Ow. <laughs> this isn't working. Ah, damn. See, <laughs> so he knows. He fucking knows. Okay. All right, now, try this again. Don't just run into him. Stop throwing anchors. Oh, he's going that way now. All right. But well, wasn't oh, he always going shit! that way? Shit! He deflected it! He fucking deflected that shit. Did you see that? All right, I'll throw I a double just... his way. I think you just got unfortunate. Damn, Damn oh, it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I went ahead and got kind and I got fire ability. Let's try this. We got a long range ability this time. <laughs> die, 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 die. What's that line? Smile, you son of a bitch. And even then, he's still giving me some problems. I can't get over him. Oh, come on. It's not that hard. What am I gonna do? There. Shoot the damn all right. whale! Alright, alright. Or dolphin, this, whatever. This works too, now I can throw my own shit back at him. Oh god! <laughs> oh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> alright, come on. Dude, come on! Oh my god, he's, he's dodged all of them! He didn't Dude, move up there come once! On. Come on! <laughs> what the hell? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! Come on, man! Oh god! <laughs> what the hell? There, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, what? Come there! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, All right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out to Walmart, I'm gonna get like 15 uh, gas canisters, fill them all up with gas, 
And uh, I'm gonna drive him to the ocean. And I'm gonna dump him right into Shamu's mouth. Oh god, so so why were you uh why were you late to to work today, Neskel? Uh, I was just watching a train wreck. Yeah, that was a whale of a fight. Good job, man. You did it. You can watch me play video games, it's like, man, there he blows! Cause he sucks. God, you got Moby dicked over by that boss. Oh, it's like I'm drinking sperm whale or something. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know, you know And the fucking episode got All right, damn. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Next time on Kirby's Dreamland 3, more level 3! <laughs>